In this sixth example, I'm going to use this potentiometer as the analog sensor with the Raspberry Pi Pico board. You know we have two types of sensors, digital and analog. Digital sensor I already explained with the help of a push button. Now to explain how to read an analog sensor, this time I will use this potentiometer with one of the analog pins of the Raspberry Pi Pico. So what I'm going to do next is I will read this potentiometer and then I will display its value on the OLED display module. So let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit diagram. The SSD1306 OLED display module connections with the Raspberry Pi Pico remains exactly the same. Left leg of the potentiometer is connected with 3.3 volts. Middle leg is connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico GP26 pin and the rightmost leg is connected with the ground of the Pico board. I completed all the connections as for the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. The OLED display module code remains exactly the same and this time I added code for reading the potentiometer. I defined a pin to which the potentiometer is connected. I named the GP26 pin as part underscore wall. These two lines of codes read the potentiometer and applies the conversion factor. These other lines of code simply print the value on the SSD1306 or LED display module. Now let's run this code. As you can see by rotating the knob of the potentiometer, I am able to change the value. Now you can modify this code to control the LED brightness, you can control the speed of a DC motor and so on. 